Banyana Binyana, the South African women's soccer team, had come to Delta State in Nigeria to contest the fifth African women's championship. Put up in the same hotel as their mortal enemies Nigeria, conflicts between the teams soon started. Having won both their opening games and qualifying for the semi-final, Banyana Binyana are due to play the Nigerians and are desperate to win. The ultimate goal is to reach the final where both qualifying teams will go to the World Cup in China. True leaders are born, not made. And this is definitely true of Portia, the captain of Binyana Binyana. From one of the rougher neighborhoods in Soweto, White City, she is the undisputed leader of the team with an innate ability and confidence to inspire her mates as well as chew them out when necessary. Nigeria is the toughest country to tour by far. And the team have found themselves out of the main cities of Lagos and Abuja in the southern state of Delta. Delta State is where most of Nigeria's oil is found. It's all over the subtropical creeks and marshes of the state's extensive river system, while out to sea, hundreds of oil drilling platforms dot the coastline. Some of the local population are very bitter about not sharing in the vast wealth generated by the multinational oil companies, and kidnapping oil workers for ransom is becoming a local pastime. The team has done well in the tournament. They were through to the semi-finals, but are about to play their bitterest enemies, Nigeria, the best team in Africa by far. We always blame the referees. We always blame the, this place itself, but it's just, we, we know we can beat them, so we just want to prove to everyone we can beat them because everyone's negative about it. The pressure was building, and the team began to crack with tensions between the new and older players threatening to split the team in half. For me now, there's no team spirit in this team. We, 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 we're winning because all of us, we love football. We love the game. Kona is also my roommate, but lately it's very difficult for me to talk to him. It's so noble to say I am sorry, because we are all not perfect human beings. To us women, we make mistakes. Some of them are very emotional, like got a small heart, but in football, you all have to be big here. You have to fight, you have to be strong. On the day of the match and ready to leave for the grounds, the South African officials could only watch in disbelief as the Nigerian girls departed for the game in the only bus in sight. 